Do you have steering now? No, I have rear steer. Gary! Welcome back to your new favorite show, This Versus That Dirt, presented by Fuel Off-Road. Oh, yeah. there he is. <laughs> hey, you got anything to add to that? Listen, off-road racing is off-road racing. So let's get to racing. Yeah. I'm here with... I'm Jared Klecki from uh, Kelowna, BC, Canada. Tell me about this thing. What did it start off as? Uh, it started off as just a pile of tube and a bad idea. I was young and overzealous. I built a tube buggy from scratch. Yep. I, when you got free time, everyone builds crazy things. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I built the buggy just to go out in the snow. We have a big group of guys up in Canada that we go snow wheeling. We only use it in the winter, like six plus feet of snow, and we go out for days. I've destroyed this thing though in the meantime. Good for the soul, bad for the wallet. Yeah. Oh, oh, look how gross that is. So the engine is just like a Gen 6 454. It's punched out 60 over. I think that makes it 468 cubic inches, mm -hmm. all forged internals. And then I have a turbo on each side feeding into a liquid intercooler on each side into the center, big throttle body. And So you built this thing once and it's just been lasting forever? No, or what? no, this is the third engine. Oh. Time's the time. And then meth injection. That's kind of the best thing because that keeps my intake air temperature yeah. even lower. And then I substitute octane with that because it's a pump gas motor. And how about this winch? Yeah, it's a 16 and a half thousand pound winch that I narrowed to fit up in there. That was more of a, a racing inspiration. Yeah, that's a hefty boy yeah, right there. You don't admit to winching when you're out wheeling. Take it to the grave with me. Aha! Uh -huh. It's been a while since I've seen some Mickey Thompsons even in this size. So where do you even find something like this? Plus these badass looking wheels. The tires are 54 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Pros. Second biggest one that they make. They actually have a 58 that's slightly bigger. The wheels I made myself. I bought the barrels and cut them out. I wanted them to look like uh, the turbines. Uh -huh. Like off Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Are these real bead locks? They're real bead locks. They're on the in and out actually. It's double bead locks. Oh, on so both sides. Bead lock rings. They're 20 inch diameter, 18 inches wide. What suspension you're running too? They're king two and a half inch coilovers all around. When I built it, that was like baller stuff. It's kind of outdated now, but I've got 18 inches of rear wheel travel, 16 inches of front. Yeah, if it works, why replace it? Yeah, it does what it's supposed to do. For something like this, like this badass machine, you gotta have a good cockpit. So what do you got going on in here? This one's built for comfort, not for speed. Manual transmission, twin stick 205, and rear steer. It's pretty basic. There's not a lot going on in here. And what uh, what ECU are you running on this thing? Uh, it's a Holly HP. I have the Holly digital dash and the HP ECM up under the dash there. Awesome. Is that basically plug and play too? Um, I actually... <laughs> used tone rings in this big block to convince the ECM it's an LS. Really? So it just it just tunes like an LS. I kept my engine separate from all these things mm -hmm. just because I wanted to trust it, so I wired it to my own relay. So to keep the engine running no matter what, because when you're in the middle of forest, you don't want your engine to be relying on something like that. Yeah. So separate switch system for that. Awesome. All right, let's see how good this thing does on the track. Yeah, see what it can do. here this versus that carnage edition who are you where are you from hey, my name is anthony west team west from fullerton california uh we got my 2001 toyota tundra and we're gonna try and send the shit out of it
I heard this thing pulling up, it sounds rowdy. What are we working with? What is this? So I call it an iron block LS1. So it started as a 5.3 iron block truck motor, bored 30 over to a 5.7, and then all forged internal. So okay. basically a 5.7 LS1 with the iron block bottom end. Makes like 650 on the engine dynos. Uh, and then we got some extra little sauce on it if we need it. Uh, okay, yeah, so I, I heard you over there warming it up and yeah. I saw a couple sprays. I was wondering yeah. what you were doing. With it. Okay, yeah. that makes Pretty more sure sense. Down. What kind of suspension are you working with front and rear on this? So it's got just a custom, like one-off uh, race kit, long travel race kit with 3.0 internal bypass coilers. Wait. Under here, you're gonna see what looks like a carbureted small block Chevy. This is sick though, I love yes, that. Yes, this looks... is Walker Performance's carbon fiber filter and keeps all the dust out, keeps nice and clean. But there you can see we got some nitrous solenoids, some purge solenoids, fuel solenoid on top of an injected style rail. So we've got fuel injectors, we've got Holly Terminator X controlling all of that. Throttle by, okay, sick, yeah. that's hell yeah. Doesn't look like a 2001 Tundra back here. Tell us what we got. 32 gallon fuel cell in front of the axle. Got this little spare trunk zone. 55 inch links, four to nine inch fabricated housing, 4.5 bypasses. Yeah, I was gonna say, tell us about yeah. that. What is that right there? Oh yeah, so this is the reservoir for my shock, which is bigger <laughs> than most people's shocks. That's so, crazy. Yeah, uh, didn't really have anywhere else to put it. So that's where it went. Let me put it up your ass. So we've got the 37 inch tall Falcon tires wrapped on 17 inch Raceline wheels. Oh, that's um, dude, that's an aggressive pattern too. Yes. I like yes. I like the tread. Um, looks like this thing's gonna hook up. Yeah. So it's the inside of my 2001 Tundra. Hey, yeah, Tundra. I see some 2001 Tundra in here now. <laughs> yeah, right? stock dash, stock door panels, stock windshield. I you know? like that. And as you can see, most people don't realize, but it's actually got a third seat back there. So nice. we can we can stuff a, a passenger in the back and- Dude, this cage kinda... is really nice quality, all freaking two inch TIG yep. welded. Yes, Holy it crap. is. And it's crazy, it's two inch 250 wall. Dang. So that's what makes the truck so heavy. Damn. That's crazy. You Obviously got a nice switch panel there. Tell yes. me about that. So this is Switchworks new panel. Um, it's a full solid state relay. You turn it on, it's a full backlit digital dash. You can do custom pictures and custom outputs. It's crazy. That's cool. Endless features. Anything's possible. The world is yours. You got your Holly display. And Best in the market. Yep. Holly Terminator X. Hell turn yeah. it on the fly, brought the computer. Do a, little, a little, little dial in yeah. after the practice session. Well, yep. All right, that's enough talking about it. Let's go see you throw down. Hell yeah, let's do it. I used to eat a lot of Flintstone vitamins. I chew them and I Ooh. drink them down with whole milk. Uh. Prediction. Uh, prediction. Gross. Okay, <laughs> that thing looks too big to go fast. This thing looks like it's fast. It has stickers for headlights. It doesn't even have actual headlights. That's a race truck, dude. Uh, stickers for headlights, a good point, but I'm gonna go with the mud truck. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the mud truck just because it's rowdy. I wanna see something rowdy. I'm going with the Green Land Cruiser, bro. This, no. What? You know what? You all voting for some sticker bullshit. Take it easy. I don't vote against my own country, so obviously I'm gonna vote for Canada. Duh. What is that? A tundra? Huh? He has a suspension. You got the. You got. Okay. He has a spare tire in the back. Okay. He's legit. Woo! Four by four guy. Big horsepower. Big tire. Free runner with nitrous. I'm going with my boy Anthony. This tundra is clean. It's got the suspension travel. I think that's gonna be the difference for him to carry speed off the jumps and through the whoops like a butter.
Oh damn it! I was oh had my, my money. He on the did green not lift over the whoop. No. I'd say give him no. two cars. Two, two cars. cars? Yeah, two cars. Yeah. Because well, you figured he put them on him in the whoops. Yeah. How's that? It's good. It's really real good. That nitrous really helps, man. Like <laughs> the whip section, you just click that, and then all of a sudden it's like it lights up. Bye. Well, congratulations on the first dub. Um, we're gonna have to talk to him and see where the gap was, and then we're gonna assess from there. He was ahead of me. I was like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> I really hope that he doesn't hit the whoops fast. Yeah, you're killing it. What did I lose? Five cars. Dude, you surprised us all. Yeah, I don't this see thing you gapped him like, off the this go. Thing boogied off the, off the start. You were in two wheel drive, right? That was two. Do you have the option to run four? Drive pass gone. Oh, you got one of those SEMA specials there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah that's Bluetooth. He got you by five cars. Do you think that there's a little more steam in the tank, or is that pretty much what you got? I lost steering halfway. Oh. You, do you have steering now? No, I have rear steer. <laughs> is so, that why I was going like crab walking? Yeah, I was struggling to keep her going there. If you do get this fixed, what do you, what do you want? Five cars? I mean, well, five cars would be a lot, wouldn't it? We give him the bush. I mean, yeah. For those of you guys that don't know about the bush, I go over there and I break a limb off the bush. Once you pass me is when I start waving the bush for Anthony okay. to go. Oh, okay. Does that works. Right. Belt's gone. The belt's gone? Is it on the track? Oh, no, it's oh, hanging out. Split. No, don't tell me that. Yeah, it's split. Uh, this controls your water pump, uh, your power steering, and your alternator. I'm trying every <laughs> belt in California right now and seeing what's going to happen, I guess. I think we're going to be able to get it. If not, worst case scenario, we're going to get a ratchet strap. Cut off both the hooks, tied around it. How many eBay motoring stores did you rob? Some time later. They figured out a whole different way to route it. There's not a lot of wrap on the crank pulley, but there's good wrap on the power steering pump. So we'll see. I mean, he has to stay straight. He's got power steering now. He shouldn't be turning it much, so it should be. <laughs> he got you by like a, a Volkswagen Beetle, the yeah, first gen. I gave you probably six cars. You won. You lost. What do you want? Oh, yes, yeah, 1 1 now. I mean, that was just about everything it's got. Les Bush? Run it. Run it back. Go. Same Woo! race. Let's go. Let's they go. don't have to get out, right? Run it back. Hey. All right, run it back. Run it back. I think Ooh. he lost steering.
boring, actually. <laughs> I broke a drive line or something. Oh, a link arm. Yeah, that was fun. Put it in neutral. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh yeah. I mean, I came to party, right? I That's guess. the right attitude. <laughs> you see this right here? This this Heim joint is supposed to be connected to that upper link. This thing kind of went like this. Look at the T-case. Oh, they the T-case? Like that, that here drive shaft is supposed to be connected to that there T-case. <laughs> yeah, that that happens to be different. Well, it's, it's safe to say you almost won. Oh. Whoops again, right? First. Yeah. First whoop, yeah. 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 Probably last run it weakened it, and this one was just like, that's it. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't look too happy either. <laughs> Trans blew up into a million pieces. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing left. Hey, when you're on the rev limiter, that's when you're Take supposed to, to shift gears. There was a second where I was like, I really shouldn't, but you were still ahead. Yeah, and that so, happens. You know, just didn't let go. That's gnarly. Uh, <laughs> he was laughing. Yeah. Give him a handshake. Hey. You both yeah. broke. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for Good coming job. out. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah. from yeah. Canada. Yeah. Hey, George, wrap this shit up. We gotta go. We we we're out. <laughs> How do you feel after that send, dog? <laughs> Gary said he wants to go for a ride. <laughs>